Sure, he had help from Penumbra before, but she's not helping him this time. He's got to face it on his own. He's coming for a villain known as Adonis. He'll do it. You'll be there. Back it now. First Man 2. Learning. Well, good morning, everybody. Hello. Stat Zero's in the house. Hey, Statistical Zero. Morning to you. Oh, thank you so much for popping that link. First Man 2 Learning Curve is live for you to back. Picked up some more backers. Cracked the 22,000 mark uh, yesterday and a little bit more. So thank you, everyone uh, that is supporting the campaign and backed it. I appreciate it so much. Um, I'm here early because uh, that means my daughter has to be at work at 9. And uh, you can just call me by my new nickname, Uber. Uber. I like to be called uh, Uber as I will be taking her to work in a little bit. I mean, the nice thing is I get to my desk to do some drawing earlier than I usually do when I do this uh, at 8.30 to uh, 9.30. But uh, eh, what are you going to do? That is a dad's responsibility until she decides to actually finally get her license. So welcome, everybody. Hello. Um if you joined me yesterday afternoon, you got to see me draw a black and white sketch of uh, Art to Bear's characters. I did a scan of what I got done yesterday to show you guys. So let me show you that. There it is. Um, I showed it to Mr. Art yesterday. He loved it. He was honored. And uh, he's going to actually take it from here and finish the drawing. So I'm going to be actually mailing him their original art, no pun intended, uh, today. And uh, he's going to finish the drawing of the characters. And uh, I don't know, maybe uh, it, it's up to him. If he wants to use this for some part of his campaign, uh, he's more than welcome to. We're professionals after all. We help each other out. Um the scan did not pick up like the smoke and stuff I drew back there, but it's there. Uh, actually, I want to crop this down just a wee bit more. I can see the edge of where the paper originally was. So that's actually how it was. So anyhow, yeah, so Art's going to finish this. I cannot wait to see what he does uh, with this piece. I think it's going to be super cool. So uh, let's see what happens. Oh, thank you for popping that in there, Stat Zero, on Twitter. So yeah, so Art's going to finish this drawing of black and white. And uh, I, I can't wait. Uh, Art hasn't inked my stuff in 15 years or so. It was on an issue of The Flash we did, uh, or I did some pages on. Uh, he inked the whole book, but I stepped in to help out on some pages. So uh, this will be cool. So this will go out in the mail to him today. All right, let's get rolling on uh, the conclusion. The conclusion to uh, WWE. This is the cover for the sixth issue. Triple H against demonic. Triple H. Dun, dun, dun. Um. This was a fun cover to do. 
I just really want to uh, focus in on the two characters. I want to do one of those. I didn't, I didn't want to get in and do this real deep perspective shot. Johnny Cage, what is in the house? Welcome. I didn't want to do one of those perspective shots where, you know, really forced perspective basically is what I'm saying, where one character was in the foreground, the other one was in the background. I want to do more of a uh, pull the camera back medium shot uh, of the two characters on equal footing. You could say so it's it's more of an equal battle. As soon as you put one character larger, say in the foreground compared to the other character, you kind of give the sense that that character is more important and more powerful. And I didn't want to do that. I want them to be on equal footing. So that's, uh, that's what I did here. Um, let me open this up to get to page one. So I did pencils on this book. I did not do the inks. Uh, we're starting off here in the back of uh, control, uh, police van, monitoring van, whatever you want to call it. And uh, let's see if I can remember. I think this, can't remember who this guy is. Uh, Matt Hardy, I believe. Matt or Jeff Hardy. Uh, Batista. Uh, Randy Orton, maybe. Kane. And then I don't remember the female wrestler's name here, but she's pissed off. And obviously the cop doesn't care. I mean, this is pretty... Uh, no pun intended, stone cold. This cop is like, dude, I don't care. In fact, why don't you be a good girl and hand me a donut? Oh, look at that. This is once again what we call tagging in storytelling where you want to uh, set the scene. And, you know, the story opens up with the different reaction shots of the wrestlers. They're basically being interrogated by this one cop. So they're each saying a different thing, I guess, about what was going down inside the arena. And then the last person being interrogated is this female wrestler. So then we pull back and the cops just like, oh, my God, I've I've heard it all. Oh, my head is hurting. I've heard it all. But, you know, in the surveillance van, you got the bag of chips back here. You got a coffee cup, his donuts, clipboard hanging up some computer stuff, headphones, you know, I try to really in, in the limited space I have with the way I designed the panel, throw as much stuff in there to get the sense across of where we're at. And then we cut to, I think this was a two, yeah, a two page spread. Oh my God. I'm going to sneeze. Ew! Oh, wait, there's more. Nope. That was it. Stat says, uh, he's still trying to find Kaiser Soze, aren't they all? So we cut to the outside of the van. Cop steps out. He's like, all right, come on out, lady. Uh, we've got the outside of the Arizona arena. Lots of destruction. Uh, once again, this was a fun panel to draw, actually. Cop car, ambulance, fire trucks, cane, big cane. He's a huge, tall dude. He's bent over on the hood of a police car. Just woe is me. Woe is me. The other wrestlers are out here talking and stuff. Uh, I think it's Vince McMahon here walks up basically like, what are you going to do? Vince fixing his tie. I don't know if the, I can't remember if this is Vince or whoever. And then, of course, the cop and shadow doesn't trust him at all. I don't know if this was Vince. I can't remember. But I want to do something cool designy down here. This isn't part of the story. Just something cool to do with the Triple H facing off against the bad, uh, the bad guy, Triple, triple uh, Half Burn Face H. So that was just something fun I did. I think I own the pencils to this whole book because I want to say Gary Erskine. Erskine? God, I'm sure I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Uh, ink this whole book. So I'm pretty sure I have the pencils to it all. Once again, I like this cop right here. So deep in shadow as he's looking back at uh, Vince. 
Oh, that was it. Uh, the rest of the book I did breakdowns on. So breakdowns are basically uh, all the storytelling, uh, all the basic drawing is done, but no lighting, no rendering is done. So you can see going back from this page of full pencils, I've got lighting, I've got rendering, textures, all that stuff. Uh, the book, I guess, got kind of late, so I had to switch to just doing breakdowns. As if Triple H wasn't enough of a jerk. He becomes the hero in this story. So breakdowns are basically just nice, clean line drawings, and it's up to the finisher, the inker, to add texture, lighting, and all that stuff. Uh, yes, detailed layouts, exactly. Uh, See, so these are my breakdowns here. Um you know, the anchor should follow things like, oh, his elbow pads, knee things, boots are black, his trunks are black, so he should follow that. Uh, I, I'm sure I'll have enough time to show some of the pages of the finishes uh, that Gary did over this stuff. I'm pretty sure I own all this stuff still, the original art to this stuff. So let's go. So basically, it's the standoff before the fight. Triple H is saying, let's do it right here, right now. Uh, this guy's not worried about it. He's like, uh, yep, Gary inked the whole thing because I made a note to tell him to remember half of his face is scarred badly. He's like, I'm not worried about it at all. My minions, the blackness is coming, taking over the crowd. Oh, no. Long shot of the upper deck of the Coliseum. Here, as this black, goopy stuff takes over the crowd, down here, we've got the bad guys uh, with their guns at the wrestlers. And Triple H is like, are you sure you want to do this? Because I am the game. Oh, and Triple H lays the first punch. Kapow! Punching the bad guy right out of the panel. I love doing interesting crops. I think doing interesting crops are fun. So this is an interesting crop. It's a good crop because a bad crop would be cropping it right here where it looks like he's decapitated. Ronald Shaw in the house. Hello, Ronald. Um, but I'm cropping here, so part of his face is going outside the panel. So that's what we call a good crop. We read left to right, so our eye follows in this way, so we get the feeling of the punch and him flying out. The hand brings us down to this panel. As he punches with his other hand, boom, double fist. He double fisted it. Danky, what is up? Angles is what it is all about. Create interesting angles. Even to show some of the fight, I did angle panel borders and stuff. Then Triple H throws him to the ground. <clears throat> He's got his boot planted on his neck. This guy doesn't look worried, though. And Triple H is like, you should really be worried. Why aren't you worried? What is going to happen? Oh, we cut to the inside of the van. I think this is Shawn Michaels' towel over the shoulders. Even when I do tight breakdowns, I leave notes for stuff just so the anchor finisher knows, hey, this is a towel if he wants to give it texture. The cop is just like, oh, my God, I'm getting real sick of you guys spinning this yarn about demons and stuff fighting. Inside the police van, a little control panel here with a light. Uh... Shawn Michaels is just like, I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm trying to give you the 411 on what's going on. The cop's not having it. And Shawn's like, smiling now for some reason. Ooh, what does he know that we don't? Uh, oh, that's right. Vince McMahon is still up on the roof. That, on page two and three, talking to the cop was maybe the mayor or something of uh, the city. I didn't think Vince came off the roof yet with... Uh, uh, the people he tried to rescue. Somebody's coming up from the roof here. Who's this? Uh-oh. Ray Mysterio's like, Vince, something. So watch out. I got to get it. It's the bad guy. Oh, the bad guy that we thought was dead from the previous issue is not. His head's just at a weird angle as he smacks the crap out of uh, Ray Mysterio here. He's like, back off, Ray Mysterio. Vince is like, oh, crap. Nobody goes at my wrestler like that, says Vince. Now he's getting pissed. 
So like I said, for those joining late, these are just uh, breakdowns, not full pencils. Oh, John Cena. John Cena comes up from the stairwell, grabs the dude from behind, tosses him down the stairs. So with these angles I have going here, I'm trying to lead your eye and give you the feeling of him being tossed down these steps. So you got this nice curve here like this as he gets tossed down the steps. Got a shadow here, so I'm foreshadowing. <laughs> Uh, the big show. Then John Cena gives him a boot further down because he's trying to come back up the steps. So he gives him a boot. Oh, and the guy lands tight close up here. Just imagine if this was a movie. Breakdowns were stick figures. No, breakdown. What you're talking about are layouts. So there's layouts which is kind of like what Keith Giffen does, which is really rough shapes or it could be stick figures <clears throat> to give to the penciler to draw from. Breakdowns are this, where I draw everything, just no lighting and no, uh, no real detail as in regards to lighting and rendering. So yeah, this guy's outfit is black. And uh, the Big Shows is solid black as well, but there's no real lighting indicated here. Now, everybody's breakdowns are different. My breakdowns, I've been told, are pretty tight. Um, honestly, you could have filled this in black in Photoshop, fill in all these solid blacks I indicated in Photoshop, adjusted this, pencils to darker, and probably colored this stuff. But... Uh, you know, that's not how I roll. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's what you're talking about, Stat Zero. Uh, breakdowns in my book, the way I was taught, are uh, are nice, clean outlines. And then the inker is supposed to go in and do the finishes of texture and lighting and stuff. You'll see. I'll show you some of what Gary did, uh, even though he was on a time crunch as well. All right, here's another. Here's a good example too. Cut to the outside. Uh, this dude's barking orders. The cop. We've got the outside of the van here. Mark Henry, strongest man on earth. You know, there's not really details on this stuff. Uh, Mark Henry trying to trying to talk to the cop, and then he gets right up in the cop's face because he's Mark Henry. Ahoy, what about? Hello, thank you for joining. Uh, he's getting off in the cop's grill. And the, the cop's like, just get him out of here. So these other cops are walking away with uh, Mark Henry. So that's, uh, yeah, my, I mean, my breakdowns are pretty tight. Cut back to the inside. This is one of my favorite panels of this page. A big shot here. Uh, John Cena is still a little woozy from uh, whatever he was shot with, that tranquilizer dart or whatever. He's like, oh, you'll have to continue on, Big Show. Big Show's, I got this, as Herky Jerky Man here is uh, running off into the back of the, uh, down the hallway. Um, you've got this, we're below... Uh, the stadium seating here. So that's why this is angled because these are stadium seats going up off in the distance. Uh, Johnny Cade says those likenesses are pretty good. Thank you. I mean, I was working from photos, trying my best. Uh, we've got uh, the hallway going out since the arena um, kind of curves, drawing that and stuff. Got some lights hanging down, some ventilation and stuff. I was just trying to really sell the, the scene of the inside of the arena. Oh, John Cena. It's really affecting him now. So this is the main part of the panel. And then we uh, drop down to here. And I want to give you the feeling of John Cena bending over. Oh, So as your eye comes down, Cena bends down as well. The big show's like, brother, what's happening? And then, oh, from behind, the bad guy. It's trying to give 
give uh, the Big Show a hickey, it looks like. No, he's biting his neck. What is he, a vampire? Big Show goes down. John Cena is trying to help, pushes the guy off, but he comes back from behind and punches John Cena in the back of the head. Damn, nothing's taking this cat out. Good Lord. Cut back to the ring. We've got the evil uh, barbarian-esque half-burned face Triple H grabbing Undertaker by the neck. Triple H is like, what do you think you're doing? Uh, his arms are behind, so maybe he got his arms tied up when we weren't watching. So I'm, I'm looking at this stuff for the first time, just kind of like you guys. Uh, uh, bad uh, barbarian-esque uh, Triple H looking over at Undertaker. Taker's like, do with me what you will. Oh, now he's got a boot on the top of uh, Triple H's head. Remember when I was drawing that black and white yesterday, people were busting my balls because I didn't draw their feet. So I flipped it over and on the backside drew a big foot to show, hey, I can draw feet. Here's another great example. Here's a boot right here. See? And then uh, we cut back to uh, this bad guy here who has the little, I believe this is like a little key fob to, uh, to ignite the bombs that are placed throughout the arena. And John Cena's like, I got to get me a hold of that. So I was going for a nice perspective here with the hands in the foreground camera right here. John Cena's trying to reach out, to, trying, to, trying to grab a hold of the little key fob device. And I got to be honest, guys, if I, if I had a great finisher that I could really trust to work with on a, on a regular basis... This is what I love doing. I like doing the storytelling and this this amount of drawing. After this, if I could hand these pages off or hand my work off to somebody else to finish, I would. Because this is the fun part for me. And I like collaborating with other people. You know, like Art Tiber. Art Tiber is a great artist in his own right and a great finisher. But he's doing his own thing. So uh, Terry Austin is pretty retired as far as I know. He's retired. Uh, comics fans seem to have really intense foot fetish. <laughs> it's funny because I'm looking down because I I'm looking at this stuff on my Cintiq, but every now and then I look up to see what it looks like with you guys. It is pretty cool to blow this up like that and look at it on the screen like that. Anyhow, let's move on. Oh, he pressed the bomb. So we cut to a splash page outside shot of the arena. Big explosion. Helicopter in the air, news for uh, Arizona. Uh, so we've got that long shot looking down with the explosion. Look at all the cars in the parking lot because this was a sold out event. Cut back to the inside of the arena. All hell breaks loose as the bomb went off. Oh, bad guy gets conked on the head from debris. Good for him. He's a bad man female wrestler here running off uh our barbarian bad triple h like whoa the house is coming down he lets go of uh the undertaker triple h here still with his hands behind his back arm in the foreground people running oh hell is breaking loose oh and by the way terry austin from what i understand and i talked to him about this oh my god i talked to terry about this back when I was doing my how-to book because Terry inked a page in my how to draw book, Drawing Dynamic Comics. There's a section in that book on inking and I had Terry and a few other guys uh, ink pages. And Terry doesn't like inking over breakdowns. He likes full pencils. So anyhow, we cut back here. Stuff's falling down. Triple H is like, I need to get out of these binds. Uh, somehow he does. I don't remember this at all. Uh, Anyhow, he breaks free somehow, some way. The Undertaker's woozy. Oh, something erupts out of the rubble. Big silhouette here. What is it? Let's turn the page. Uh, 
So we turn the page. Let me see. Was that page 16? It was. I'm really confusing myself here. I don't remember the script at all. Uh, Triple H is saying like Undertaker, I got this. And then he must power up somehow. He's glowing because the Undertaker's like, oh, it's so bright. I got to wear shades. And I did the glowing effect around this figure. So maybe he's growing as he's glowing. I don't remember. And, uh, oh, look at that little twirly thing freezing up here. Might have to restart. Oh, nope. Well, let's just see what comes up next, shall we? As I wait, I'm going to go solo so I can figure this out. Uh, let's see, page 18. All right. Let me, uh, all right, well, there's page 18, they grapple, grapple like crapple, so Triple H is huge, that uh, silhouette was him, was the bad Triple H, barbarian dude, growing, so now we've got these two, you can see how big they are compared to little Undertaker back here. As they lock up in a traditional wrestling pose. And then, boom, Triple H gives him an elbow. Oh, his head goes flying off. But it's still connected goopiness because this is not a real person. Oh, Triple H kicks right through him. See, I'm drawing feet all over the place. As his head comes back to connect to his body. You can see these guys are giants now because look how small the stands are. In the arena, Batista, Mark Henry, and I get, uh, one of the Hardy brothers, I guess, looking up at the action like, what the hell is going on? They rush back into the arena. Oh, the bad guy lunges at Triple H here with the elbow. It's a slobber knocker. Oh, they are huge for sure. Look at this. Uh, the ruins are not on Triple H's chest anymore. I don't know if I forgot to draw them or if they were supposed to be gone, but look how big they are. This is the ring in shambles. These are people knocked out, bad guys and stuff, back here that are all knocked out and dead or whatever. So these guys are huge fighting. You got chairs knocked over back here. Once again, the guys, these are my breakdowns. Oh, now he's got sharp teeth and he's sticking his tongue out. Maybe he's going to give Triple H a big wet French kissy. Gross. Uh, now these guys are like, uh, F this, we're out of here. Undertaker's like, I'm out. She's like, let's get out of here. Uh, maybe this is Kofi Kingston. I don't remember, but he's like, I'm out. Triple H is like, don't worry about it. I got this. The Undertaker's like, what are you doing? Are you sacrificing yourself? Here we've got an, a faint image of some Roman columns. that looks like Greek columns or something. Undertaker is like, it's super bright. I really got to wear shades. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember what's going on here. Oh, there's rubble and stuff from the explosion. Edge and uh, Christian are pulling their, their leader out of the rubble. Ronald Shaw's got it right. Give him a slobber knocker. They're trying to pull him out of the rubble. There's flames and stuff. Uh, here's Rowdy Roddy Piper. He's not dead. Uh, he's coming to help the big show. John Cena's under some rubble. They go to pull uh, John Cena out of the rubble. So you got Roddy Piper coming in here doing his good guy thing. And the big show lifting rubble off. Uh, stat panel two. That's this panel goes right here. So there's not a change. I don't know. I can't remember why. And then, oh, we pull the camera back and we've got the bad guy here. John Cena's gone. I, man, I don't remember this story at all. Uh, Danky Frankie is asking a question. Let me get my mouse over here. Uh, so layouts, stick figures, breakdowns are what you have there. What are full pencils? 
Full pencils are uh, pages two and three, what I showed yesterday as well. I'll, once I'm done going through this, I'll show you the full pencils uh, for two and three. I did. Look at that. Stat. I did. Stat panel. I did. I named a panel after you. Uh, full pencils, I'll show you the difference. Here, I'll show you the difference right now so it's fresh. Uh, these are full pencils. So you see full pencils. You've got lighting. I've got lighting going on. I've got rendering. Rendering is like these, these lines right here to show lighting going down on the side of the arena. This window has rendering on it. There's lighting and stuff. Uh, these are full pencils right here. That's full pencils. I hope that helps explain it. Uh, breakdowns are just line drawings that indicate everything. So the, the inker goes, oh, this is rubble. This guy's wearing clothes, this guy's shirtless, but he has to add lighting if he wants. Uh, finishes are over breakdowns. Uh, inking is over full pencils because an inker when it comes to full pencils doesn't have to figure out lighting and texture because that's the penciler's job to do uh finishes the inker has to figure out lighting and rendering and such it's clear but what does an inker do with full pencils well the inker has to go in and apply line weight because my job when i do full pencils isn't to do line weight and you can get different textures when you ink you can use different tools brushes and pens and and uh certain Fine point markers will all give different line work and such. Um, I'll have to do a stream one day where I show different inks over the same pencils and stuff to show you guys uh, more. So here the battle is over. Triple H is gone. Uh, Triple H took the bad guy away back to hell, I guess. Yeah, inkers do make the stuff pop. So here, all the wrestlers are getting together like, you know, Shawn Michaels, Undertaker, Mark Henry, uh, Randy Orton, even, I think, Edge and Christian, the stuff is worn off. Female wrestler here, don't remember this guy. And they're all just like looking around the rubble and stuff like, what the hell just happened? The Undertaker is picking up the sledgehammer from what we started to with started with the story with way back and he's saying some words about triple h being a hero and he raises it up over his hand we will never forget you triple h and the sacrifice you made for us and all the wrestlers are like yes as they're looking up and in page 22 we cut outside the arena <sighs> He is worthy. See that? Triple H is the hero. Cut outside the arena. The Undertaker jumps on his motorcycle, his hog. Crime scene tape ripped in the foreground to frame it up. We've got the arena in the background. He's putting his helmet on because he drives safe. The cop comes up. He's like, we're not done here. I got some words for you, buddy. There's some explaining that needs to be done. The Undertaker's like, pal, I'm tired as hell. I got no time for your garbage. Uh, long shot here is the Undertaker steps off his motorcycle, punches out the cop because he's just about had enough. And then he's like, that's enough of that. I lost a good friend tonight. I'm out. And he rides off on his motorcycle, silhouette in the background of the arena, the cop on the foreground. Uh, we read left to right, so we see this. Well, once uh, we we come over, we got the taker here, brings us down to here. Our eye flows down to here. He looks over the taker to this guy here, drops us down to here. His hand points down to here. We read over this way. The motorcycle angle points us to here. We feel the punch coming down this way. The arm leads us to here. 
And the undertaker's intense eyes leads us out to here as he rides off in the sunset or the moonlight. Uh, let's see some of the inks. That's the cover. <clears throat> so these are the inks to the full pencils. The only page I did full pencils on. Uh, Gary didn't do a bad job on the finishes. So the finisher, when a when an inker does finishes over breakdowns, they also you see more of their drawing style as well. So you know I didn't do any of the lighting and stuff. So uh, a lot of this you'll see more Gary's work in this stuff than mine. Uh, he did a you know he did a decent job, and he was under a time crunch as well. So I'm going to buzz through these faster. Uh, you know, looking back on this stuff, I haven't looked at this stuff in years. So looking at it with a fresh eye, it didn't come out too bad. Gary did a pretty good job. Like I said, he was under time constraints as well. Uh, you know, some stuff worked, some stuff didn't. For it. You know, like, see, my breakdowns, this was really wide open. Gary went in, did a lot of lighting back there, because that's his job as the finisher. Uh, you know, some of the faces didn't come out too great. Throws them down the stairs, kick, kick, punch. Just kind of going through these quicker. Uh, you know, in this panel, he pretty much just inked what I did for the cars. He didn't really add any details any lighting to the cars. Uh, I mean, this looks really, and you know, this is fine because thank you. Frankie says you can see the difference. Oh yeah. There's a big difference. Um, you know, in this panel right here, besides the shadow, which I think I indicated, he didn't really add any blacks to the background or any lighting which is fine because the colorist can go in and make this really dark and uh, foreboding, you know, security camera. You know, we were both under deadline crunch on this issue. If obviously if I wasn't, I would have done full pencils. AJ Tom, everybody relax. He's in the house. Hello. Uh, oh, that's right. This panel, I didn't have the breakdowns of this page. I knew something was missing, so he's choking out Cena. The Big Show's gagging back here. Cena's trying to get to him. He he reaches in his pocket for the uh, the device that's going to set off the explosions. Boom! Chair shot. Roddy Piper comes back. I knew Roddy came back somewhere. He's got the device here. He got it away. This creepy guy's like, how dare you? Oh! There are breakdowns I don't have, apparently. I, I missed another page in the ring. Uh, this guy's talking smack to Triple H. Oh, that's right. He uses his goopy black power to tie up Triple H. Undertaker's like, I don't think so. John Cena's like, I got the device now. You're not blowing anything up. See, I did miss some pages here. Oh, damn. Here... Oh, no, then we do get this page where he's choking out the Undertaker. Triple H is bound with this black stuff here. Boot on his face. Here they're wrestling for control of the device. Big explosion. You can see how he added lighting and stuff to the helicopter. Made it pop. Uh, shit's going down here. With this stuff going on, uh... The power, oh, that's right, a big piece of something comes and lands on this dude. That's right, which uh, breaks the hold he had over Triple H, so Triple H can get up. Oh, he bursts out of the rubble. He's like, I got this, as he grows in power. So there's a big difference here between the layout and uh, the inks. Triple H has black power. Yeah, he does. They go at it. Punch, punch. Kicks right through him. See, he knocks his head off, but it's not totally detached. Oh, he tries to bind him again with more of the black power. <sighs> Triple H is like, don't worry, I got this, Taker. No, bright flash. 
here we cut back. That's where Roddy Piper came in on the previous page. Once again, I don't remember why this was statted, but it was. And then John Cena's gone. So I don't know what the hell happened to Cena. But I know he's fading away some here. So that's why it was statted in color. Cena's body was fading away. And then here he's gone. I don't know how or why. Uh, all the wrestlers gathering. He picks up the hammer. Raises it up in honor of the Triple H. Cut to the outside. You got the framing device I did here in the foreground. Uh, Cena is there. You just can't see him. Damn, damn it, AJ. And I followed you on Instagram. Um, I would have done a little black in the helmet. Probably done some type of black on the tire. But it's a full color book. I don't know if I have the colors to this or not to show. But anyhow, he gets off the bike. Punches the dude out. He's like, I'm out of here. And boom, goes trailing off. Uh, there's the color to the cover. Let me see if I have any colors to the inside of this I can show. Drag this over here. Uh, I do not have colors to it. Um, I'm trying to see where the breakdowns went to that those couple pages. It's weird that I don't have them. Oh, here's the one. So here's the breakdowns to that one page that I thought I didn't have. Oh, I indicated black tendrils here for, uh, for the finisher. I love this. Bow down before me, Triple H. Oh, he's bowing down. Ah, right, here we go. The choke out page. I'm choking out John Cena. He's gagging because he just got bit on the page before. Reaching up, reaches into his pocket to grab. Uh, he's reaching in Josiah's. That's the bad guy's name, Josiah. Pocket gets hit with the chair. We see it's Rowdy Roddy Piper. You can't kill this guy. Look how creepy he is. Uh, saw that page, this page, this page. Oh, yeah. And then... Yeah, we're cutting back and forth. Ah, black tendrils. That's right. I did the black tendrils in Photoshop. Big explosion. Uh, stuff raining down. Black tendrils again. We see the guy getting hit with debris right here. There you go. Hyper Kaiju, thank you very much. We got over 22,000 yesterday. Let's keep it going. Higher and higher. Straight up well climbed. Do, 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 do. Hey, guys, if you weren't here... I'm going to show you again uh, the black and white drawing that I did for Art to Bear. Uh, oh, no. Did I close the window to it? I did. That's okay. Um, I'll show it to you guys here because I know exactly where it is. Uh, for those joining us late, uh, Art to Bear, I showed him the black and white drawing, and he loved it and uh, thought it was super cool. And I said, well... Because I'm lazy, if you want, you can finish it. So he said, hell yeah. So I scanned it in. So I have a copy of the before. I'm going to send this over to Art uh, through the mail. And uh, th hey, thank you very much, AJ. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, so Art is actually going to take the original art to this, which I'm going to mail to him and uh, apply his awesome inks and finishes to it. And uh, who knows? Uh, I think we'll probably sell it at the next auction and split the money from it. Uh, so that'll be cool. But nonetheless, Art is going to ink this. And uh, maybe, uh, I don't want to put words in his mouth because it's his campaign, but who knows? Maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll uh, get it colored and uh, format it for a trading card. How cool would that be seeing my drawing of black and white with Art's beautiful finishes and uh, we get uh, an awesome colorist in there to uh, work this baby up as a trading card. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be cool. Uh, I'd love it. So, so there you go. There's the drawing I did yesterday on the stream. 
So, uh, all right, guys, there you have it. Uh, solo. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I might talk some, uh, quote unquote, new stories. Uh, maybe do that. Uh, I don't know. I got to figure out what I want to talk about tomorrow. Actually, it's, uh, it's, it hasn't crossed my mind. Maybe I'll do a drawing of some sort tomorrow. Uh, not exactly sure, but I will be doing something tomorrow, of course, for you guys. And, uh, you know, let's keep this in mind. Luke Henry, after kicking Monarch's ass to the depths of space, is back on Earth. And now he's looking to save the world from the Fourth World Foundation. Sure, he had help from Penumbra before, but she's not helping him this time. He's got to face it on his own. He's coming for a villain known as Adonis. He'll do it. He'll be there. Back it now. First Man 2, Learning Curve. Studio tour. That's a great idea. Maybe I'll do a, a studio tour tomorrow and uh, and we'll go from there. So I, I like that idea, Hyper Kaiju. Show off some action figures, show off some of the stuff hanging on my walls. Um, that's a great idea. Studio tour. Look at these four people. What's up, Sheev McQueen? Thanks for joining. Hope you have subscribed to the channel. Please back the campaign if you haven't. Uh, it's because of you guys that I hit over 22,000. Let's keep it going. And uh, guys, I got to take my kid to work. So I'm always doing this. Hey, I'm still here. I haven't ended it because of comments. Uh, I should talk about my all brief stand up career. I could do that. If you really search back at my videos on YouTube, you can find a stand up set that I did from like 13 years ago. Uh, there's also some sketch comedy stuff. Uh, yes, Ronald, I did hear about that. Um, I don't know how that works. I guess he didn't. It's not that he accidentally closed it. I guess he accidentally forgot to extend it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Is he talking to Indiegogo, trying to get them to reopen it? Because I was pretty shocked to see that this morning. And uh, I wonder what Omnis and TPBs you have back there. You'll find out tomorrow. We're doing a studio tour, guys. All right. I'm not playing that again. Uh, on the way out, uh, I'm going to play this. <laughs> 